Are you serious? Are you serious, guys? Uh, okay, in Russia, the Putin protests have begun. Boot scooting Putin is under some pressure as 3,000 people have now been arrested in the Putin protest, excuse me, the Putin protest demanding that Navalini be released. And that's uh, Navalini, Alexei Navalini, who Putin has thrown in prison again. This is the third time Putin has thrown his political opponent in prison after having him poisoned twice, or at least somebody poisoned him twice. Can I put a shout out right now real fast for the cold killer, the cold killer. That's www.thecoldkiller.com. Guys, studies on space heaters are reporting to cause, space heaters are causing 50% of all home fires. 86% 86% of the home fire deaths are because of faulty space heaters. These heaters can quickly rise to 300 degrees, and there's numerous cases where kids burn themselves by touching them or running into them. And the problem is that when these space heaters are too close to furniture or curtains or combustible items, they could tip over, fire could be started, and that's when you have smoke and fire alerts. So what I would like to do is tell you about a very safe minute. If it was to ever fall over, it stops. The thing is not, will not create combustible energy. It is an incredible technology. It's called the cold killer. Just go to www.thecoldkiller.com. That's www.thecoldkiller.com. All right, let me tell you what's going on here. 3,000 people have been arrested uh, at the protest demanding that Alexei Navalny be released by President Vladimir Putin. Okay, now Russian police arrested more than 3,000 people yesterday in a nationwide protest demanding the release of the opposition leader Alexei Navalny, the Kremlin's most prominent foe. Why? Because he's a man of the people. And according to the group that counts political detentions, they say the protest in scores of cities all across Russia in temperatures as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius. That's 58 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Actually, is I mean, insane. Uh, it was highlighted how Nav Navalini has built influence far beyond the political and cultural centers of Moscow and St. Petersburg. Matter of fact, in Moscow, an estimated 15,000 demonstrators gathered in and around Pushkin Square in the center city where clashes with police broke out and demonstrators were roughly dragged off by helmeted riot police officers and put in police buses and a detention trucks and taken and beaten with batons and taken and thrown into camps. What? Uh, even uh, Navalini's wife, Julia, was arrested. Now, police eventually have pushed the demonstrators out of the square, there by the Kremlin. Thousands then regrouped along a wide boulevard along a kilometer, half mile away, many of them throwing snowballs at the police before dispersing. Some later went to protest near the jail where Alexei Navalini is being held, police made an undetermined number of arrests there, and the protest stretched across Russia's vast territories from the island cities uh, north of all the way north of Japan and the eastern Siberian cities, where temperatures were minus 50 degrees Celsius. To Russia, most populous European cities, Navalini and his anti-corruption campaign has built an extensive network of support despite official government rep repression and being routinely ignored by state media. The situation is getting worse and worse. It's total lawlessness, says one of the uh, protesters in Moscow. And if any, if, if we stay silent, we will go, this, it will never end. It'll go on forever. The OVD Info Group, which monitors political uh, arrest, said at least 1,167 people were detained in Moscow, more than 460 in other large demonstration in St. Petersburg, Russia.
And overall, 3,068 people have been arrested in some 90 different cities, revising the count downward from its earlier report of 3,445. The group did not give an explanation for its revision, probably because they were told to by the Russian police. Anyway, Boot Scoot and Putin having a problem, and that is this, the corruption, the uh, really the, 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 the fact that he's no long, it's no longer a real democracy, the fact that he's become the czar of Russia, the fact that, seriously, that he is raping that nation of its wealth and oppressing them again with that KGB style uh, mentality is just another head of this seven-headed monster called the beast of the book of Revelation chapter 13. I need you to understand, communism is one of the seven heads and this czar, this uh, type mentality, disguising itself as a democracy, it's really nothing more than a dictatorship cloaked in totalitarian uh, disguise and uh, it's really, he's really the czar of Russia again. We're back. It's back. So let's continue to keep an eye on what's going to go on. Uh, I'm just telling you the facts, guys. They're throwing people in jail left and right. Uh, it's getting almost as bad as it is here in America. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.